Sexually transmitted infections are, as the name suggests, infections that are mainly contracted through sexual activity. Not always, but mainly. They're very common and can cause a lot of problems. So it's important that we have a policy where people can avoid them, well, primarily avoid them, but if they haven't avoided them and they have them, that at least they're treated and treated effectively. The, the big problem with sexually transmitted infections is that in many cases you don't know who's infected. It's not like somebody who you meet in a shop who has a flu and is sneezing and coughing in your face and looks dreadful and has a big scarf on them and a big overcoat. With sexually transmitted infection, the carrier often has no sign of infection, so there's no way of knowing that this person is infected. Or there's no way of easily knowing that a person is infected. So to protect yourself from sexually transmitted infections, the best you can do is avoid sex, which isn't a really realistic option for most people. The next best thing you can do is use prevention, which I'll come back to in a minute. And the next best thing you can do is know your partner as well as possible. Now, even if you know your partner very, very well, there is still no guarantee that you will know whether or not he or she has an infection. Generally, people who are in monogamous relationships, apart from people who abstain from sex, are most safe, if that's the right way to put it. But the most important thing is that if you are engaged in sexual activity, that you protect yourself as best as you can. And the best protection we have nowadays is male condoms. In, in gay relationships, female gay relationships, there are different issues in condoms, obviously aren't used as protection. But in homosexual relationships between men and in heterosexual relationships, condoms are the best protection we have. You should suspect you may have an infection if you've ever had unprotected sex, meaning sex without a condom, with anybody. So the, obviously the ideal thing to do is to check if you are infected, and the only way to check if you are infected is to visit a doctor and be examined and tested. Treatments for sexually transmitted infections are generally very effective. So there's no need to be concerned about being given a diagnosis that feels like a death sentence because no diagnosis of any sexually transmitted infection is, is a death sentence nowadays. The main problem with infections are that they can cause serious damage to health and even death in some instances. So they are very important to avoid. Often people in the age group who, people who, in, in the age group who are most prone to infections tend to be the ones who are least worried because they're in that age group, 18 to 25, where we feel immortal and nothing's going to touch us and our health is great and we feel great and we're not going to get these things. It's the way young people think. So it's unfortunate in a way that the very people who think like that are the ones who are most likely to become infected with infections, with sexually transmitted infections. So you have to be aware that they're out there and aware that they're dangerous and aware that they need to be treated. So if you feel you're at risk, and you are at risk if you've ever had unprotected sex, then you get yourself test, seen by a doctor and examined and tested.